to look at the settings on the uh, section control is go to the uh, tractor launch pad down to the uh, section control uh, button and then we can see uh, on here is I've got two control points so I've got a seed or fertilizer with the implement that I've uh, I've got on the on the back of the tractor so if I just look at uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, seed rails on it, I've got a summary then of uh, of what uh, what type I've got, what type of implement, my working with, the number of sections I've got, and then I've got some overlap figures, and then also then a uh, some section uh, some switch on and switch off delays which are coming through from the uh, from the job computer on the implement. Now, as I can obviously switch the section control, make it active, inactive in there but then I can look at uh, any of my uh, my overlap settings so I can have a 0% uh, a overlap so as soon as one section uh, touches a uh, previously treated part of the field it would switch that whole section off or vice versa I could go into uh, into a hundred percent so it's waiting until that whole section has uh, has covered across um, before it uh, it switches off so it's down to the operator to choose the uh, the type of uh, type of overlap uh, that they uh, that they want obviously if we've got zero percent depending on how big my section is I'm either going to have um, effectively misses or 100 percent I'm going to have total uh, total overlap for that section and no misses uh, on uh, on there the next one down then is that is the boundary and it just gives us a a certain coverage over over a boundary of how how far over we can uh, go again before it switches a a section off so it's the same sort of uh, um, settings we've got uh, sat there now, if the uh, if we think the the switching on and switching off is uh, is 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 either too early or too late, we could be a very crude one, and we could look at this driving uh, direction. So, if I was just to like, say I'm going to increase that figure by one meter, it's moved everything one meter over. So, I'm going to be driving, you know, certainly one meter further over what I've already covered um, before it uh, before it either switches on or uh, or switches off. Or I could change that to a, a minus figure and see here effectively then it's, it's saying that it's going to be missing but it might just be as to uh, how things are uh, switching on and off but that moves all sections uh, forwards or, uh, or backwards uh, on there. We have a uh, tolerance of the outer section um, and so this might be uh, well this will be then is, is uh, uh, if I'm driving up and down uh, say for instance I'm spraying and uh, I've got a 24 meter sprayer but uh, uh, in actual fact the uh, the tram lines are working out at say uh, 23 and a half meters uh, on there is it might be starting to uh, to play about with the outer section of asking that to switch on switch off uh, as it's uh, as it's overlapping and so I can put in a, a figure there of up to up to a meter so it allows me to to effectively overlap um, on there to uh, to compensate for that and then down the bottom here is we can use a uh, a, a a calculator to help us uh, uh, alter on a particular section so on here I had eight sections so I could uh, pick, pick a particular section that I wanted to uh, to, to alter uh, in there and I could come into the uh, to the settings I could say well is it switching on too early too late so if I say it was switching on too early and then I can put in then is to uh, uh, the distance by what I felt it was switching on uh, too early by and then uh, also put in a, a, a realistic speed that I'm turning out the out of the headland at and uh, it will then take through and it will calculate then a, a new uh, de a new on uh, switch on time uh, for that or I could uh, I could zero that and I can do exactly the same then uh, for, uh, um, for, for for looking at the uh, at the other end of the field as uh, as well up in this corner here is I could uh, go back into uh, into a manual um, control of uh, for the uh, for the section control in there um, or switch it into full auto next button down uh, here is this allow this will switch between uh, treating the headland first and using that uh, that that uh, headland coverage map as my switch on switch off point or um, 
or switching it over to uh, to work in the middle of the field first um, where then I put a, a headland an internal uh, boundary in the uh, in the field then and then drill the or work then the uh, the headland last and then this figure here is if I'm using say Egnos and I've got a lot of drift on there I can activate that button so then effectively the screen will ignore the uh, the field boundary and allow me to uh, to work over that boundary line and then down here if I've got uh, got an area um, or a zone marked in the field is like I say as to whether I want to exclude that to automatically switch off over that uh, that particular exclusion zone. So say for instance as I had a pond uh, in there or a ditch that I could sail the uh, sprayer boom straight over the top of and I could get that then either to carry on spraying or make sure that it does uh, uh, stop spraying as, uh, as I cross that uh, exclusion zone.